Hey guys! In this video I put together a list of some awesome mods which were released within the past week or so. These are all for Minecraft 1.16.4 and are for both Forge and Fabric. For each mod I'll make sure to let you know which loader it uses. All the links you need can be found in the description below. Taco Bell adds many new items from the popular food chain straight into your Minecraft world. You'll find the likes of tacos and burritos, as well as other famous items such as sauce packets and the Baja Blast Freeze. When consuming some of these food items, you'll receive some special effects. For example, eating a hot sauce packet will provide you with both night vision and a speed boost. Benched adds a new furniture item into Minecraft, which is a picnic bench. Currently, it's purely a decoration item and you can't sit on it, though the developer has stated that they plan to update it so you can use it, as well as add more wood variants. You can craft the picnic bench easily with five planks and three sticks. Simply Steel adds a new material which aims to reduce the gap between iron and diamond. With this mod installed, you can craft crude iron from an iron ingot and coal, which can then be smelted into steel ingots. With these ingots, you can craft new items made out of steel which might consist of armor, tools, doors, and more. While not a huge upgrade, you can expect steel items to be a lot more blast resistant and more tough than iron. Caged Mobs is a very interesting mod. With it, you can craft cages which will provide an environment to grow and store entities in. Once you craft a cage, you can use a DNA sampler to collect and place entities inside, where you can watch them grow. After a short amount of time, you'll be able to collect its drops and watch it grow all over again, providing you with tons of loot. There are some upgrades you can use too, such as the cooking cage upgrade, which will automatically cook dropped food. Offhand combat will allow you to equip and use both tools and swords in your offhand slot, while correctly managing cooldown indicators and swing animations. The mod also allows the dual wielding of bows, crossbows, shields, and tridents. Don't Sleep is a small mod which makes one major change. It will kill you if you sleep. The main purpose of this mod is to add an extra layer of difficulty, as now you won't be able to skip through the night. You won't die straight away though, as there'll be some warnings to remind you. More Crafting Tables is a visual mod which adds a few new crafting tables to Minecraft. You'll now have crafting table designs for each wood type including spruce, crimson, jungle, and birch. If you played with Tinker's Construct before, then you might be familiar with Useful Slime. It adds three new items which are the Slime Sling, Slime Boots, and Slippery Slime Block. The Slime Sling acts like a catapult, forcing you into the air whereas slime boots remove all fall damage and cause you to bounce when you hit the ground. The new slippery slime block allows you to quickly transport both items and yourself. Lot tweaks will add a few new features which are incredibly useful if you like to play in creative mode. Now you can increase your range so that you can break and place items which are up to 100 blocks away. You can also quickly replace any blocks by simply hovering over them and create wheel groups so you can quickly access your favorite blocks. Omni adds a lot of items that the developer would like to see added to vanilla Minecraft. This includes many new blocks such as quilted wool, red rock, and improved concrete. But what this mod also includes is some new ambient sounds for different biomes, which really bring your world to life. Wonderful enchantments will add six new enchantments to your game, while also allowing the shield to be enchanted. Some of these enchantments offer interesting effects such as allowing you to dodge attacks, increase overall experience gain, or increase the health of your shield. Falling Leaves is a graphical mod adding leaf particles which fall from trees in Minecraft. It should help a little with increasing the immersion in your world, as well as how alive it feels. Dado Bug Biomes will add eight new biomes to your game. These are mostly designed around farmland, with most of these biomes holding large amounts of crops. Currently, some biomes the mod consists of includes potato fields, beetroot fields, and grazing fields, where you'll find lots of passive animals. 
Bundled items will massively help out with inventory management. With this mod installed, you can bundle 9 items into one. A bundled item has a maximum stack of 32 items, meaning one slot can hold 288 items instead of the usual 64. Its Emerald Armor is a simple mod which allows you to turn your emeralds into a full set of armor. Currently, it only contains armor and no tools, and there's no indication of whether that's a planned feature or not. That's it for this list. We have many more mod videos on our channel, including the latest version of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more.